Hey, random, random apps. I'm, hey, mate, how you doing? Yeah, man. I'm gonna get a cushion. <laughs> Need a cushion, I'm still awake. Right, we're going to do an eye. No reference. Just going to wing it. With a basic outline. Today instead of charcoal. Fight for a while so far. Why not? Go, and I'll probably use a biro as well. I like to use a biro for the really dark darks. Graphite, it's just very grey, so. <sighs> Try and get it zoomed in a little bit more. Oh, I'm doing graphite today. Charcoal. Love it. Line, get a shadow under there. Values into this iris. I always go really dark at the top. I know it's going to end up dark at the top, so why wait? You might as well just get straight stuck into some dark tones. of the iris. So I come down I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit. The further down I get to the iris the, the lighter it's going to be. I'm a blender, blending brush. So a blending brush you're just pulling some of these, this graphite down. You just can't do this with a graphite pencil. So blending brush, or a blending stub would do it as well. But a brush is probably a bit better. And, well, into the white of the eye. Now most people think you should keep that white, but you shouldn't, you wanna keep the reflection white. Everything else is going to be dark 
<clears throat> the reflection stays white and everything else gets some tone. Let's get some tone everywhere. <clears throat> right back onto some dark values again. And then I'm just drawing the shadow that's created by this eyelid. Quite dark when I'm doing that. But you can go as dark or as light as you want. There's no rules to your picture. Or dramatic when you go really, really dark. Right, so. <clears throat> I'll you down a little bit. Back underneath. Another brush on it. Soften the volume and push it up a little bit this time. So, yeah, when you're doing things like this, when you're doing skin tones, I mean, you get most of your skin tones, pretty much all of it, just from a brush. You pick up a bit of that graphite and then push it up and around. Using a B pencil, I'm going to go darker. <clears throat> I've got a 6B now, I'm going to go, I should take it a little bit darker. Just for these areas here. So when you want to go darker, you just press on. It's really simple. The darker you want to go, the harder you press. The lighter you want to go, you don't press as hard. It's that simple. When you're shading. Add to go for dark values and you you don't put as much pressure on for the lighter values. Round obviously eyes are round so rather than just going straight I'm going curved. The eye appear be a little bit curved, which it is. Eyeballs around like table tennis balls. <laughs> so we've got the basics down. Now I've got the basics down, I'm going to do some detail in the eye. So I'm going to do a band. You know, this band is big or as wavy and as detailed as you want. And then, so imagine these to be spokes on a bike. So we're just going to point them. From the end into the center. 
into the pupil. The pupil like that. Area. This area, we're going to do something a bit different. Darker. Where this band is, we're going to go a little bit darker, so I'm just going to press on a little bit firmer in this area. It's looking quite good. Right, so I've done the middle bit. <clears throat> now I'm going to do the outside. Now this one's a bit more different, so we're going to go sort of circles. Almost like um, teardrops, upside down teardrops, but it doesn't really matter what you do. You can do whatever shape you want. And I say it's your eye, you can you could do squiggles. I just prefer to do small circles. And together, but we don't make the circles touch. We have a little gap in between. This is how I do it anyway. You might want to do it different, that's fine. You can do it however you want. But this is my method to create a, a sort of a realistic eye. This out there will do a completely different method. And do exactly the same. It's it. We all want to create different artwork. It's individual to yourself, to everybody. So if you do this, obviously do it your own way. You can do this if you want, it works the way that I'm doing it, but. Shapes, not really worried too much about what they look like, it doesn't matter. Oh, if I can. There we go, we can see it a bit better. A bit darker you might think to yourself what are you doing that for you're going to cover up that detail i'm not going to cover that detail up because i'm only going light and literally when you're doing light shading you just you hold it with your fingertips so you hold your pencil like this and just do a little small movement so i'm, I'm literally just using the weight of the pencil this I'm pressing on too hard small movements not a lot of pressure really light strokes it's a bit more pale this area I don't want to darken everything up so I'm gonna lose that detail now I'm gonna go back with my blending brush just to soften it up a little bit. Right, now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a biro, and we're gonna go even darker, because the graphite's never really that dark. It is, it's obviously, it's ink. So you're gonna see a big difference in tone when you use a biro. 
He goes from gray to black. You can see that better there. All the mega dark areas I'm gonna go biro biro black so the tone have a lot of contrast in my drawings I like to go extreme dark like extreme light which gives the image now once I've done this bit in the detail of the iris a little bit of black graphite Everything darker. Well, obviously the detail area darker. Thing to look at. If you don't go dark and light, then you've just got a flat drawing. So don't be scared. Dark. When I first started drawing, I look at all my old drawings and they're so light, I just, you know, I want brave at all because I would never shade this dark. I wouldn't even dream of shading this dark. I just didn't know how to do it back then, but doing and you pick a little bit of something up from other artists and you work out yeah that's that works on drawings without copying obviously no that's not looking good that's looking all right Diversity lights, wow, thank Bella, hello, Bella. How are you doing? How long have I been doing this? All right, oh, coming up to 20 minutes already. Well, I'm going to do a little bit of a long one. I want to make sure I get this one almost finished. So I'm going to be a good... Another 10 minutes, probably, at least. I'm gonna do a decent job of this. A lot of people have asked me how to, if I can do a tutorial on, tutorial on, yeah. It's a shame more people's not watching, but you are. Thanks for joining me. So I'm not talking to myself. Detail my my biro. I can actually go a little bit dark everywhere else, and that biro will still just show through. Oh, you're gonna spoil it now. It's not gonna spoil it. It's gonna make it definitely more interesting, and more realistic. Just is lighting it a little bit.
but what's going to happen when I lighten it is these. Now, I'm going to use this eraser just where this band is. Some of these details, you just get a little hint of them. I'm not going to get rid of all that detail because I've done it in biro. Biro is not going to get erased, so it leaves. I think I'll try and get an eyebrow. I'm going to go a bit darker around here as well. Problem is when you go darker, everything else has to go darker. So I'm going to go really dark underneath. And I'll probably put a little bit of a crease underneath there. I'll leave it light in the middle. Keeping it light in the middle. watching thanks for tuning in me by myself talking to myself <laughs> which is not a problem is it we all talk to ourselves every now and then but i'm not talking to myself I'm talking to you a lot so i'll use my blending brush again these values and push it down so I'm getting a bit of skin tone around I need to get a better camera this camera's terrible it's just literally my iPhone. Could do with getting a using a GoPro. I've actually got a GoPro, but I've never done it on a GoPro. Probably look a lot better. Just uh, literally 
back and forward with the graphite blending brush, graphite blending brush, graphite blending brush. And there's no rush to do this, you know, you just take your time. Time just goes so quick when you're doing stuff like this. So I need to get some eyelashes in. And I need to get some highlights in as well. Eyebrow on if I get time. Right, eyelashes, so when, when you're doing eyelashes, don't go straight up. Eyelashes don't go straight up, they actually come down and then up. So I'm going to use Biro. So they'll go sweep down and up, down and up. They all go in the same direction as well. Different directions, cross them over a little bit. Down and up. Down and up. Down and up. It's good just to practice. Different shapes. Paper. Just learning to do a highlight. Best thing about using Biro as well. Same with these down, these. I will actually go up and down and cross them over. Don't put them too heavy as well. I don't put too many on. Most people don't have a lot of eyelashes at the bottom. And I usually do three. I'll go one down, one cross, one. So they're sort of meeting. One one goes down, one goes across. And three, two, three. One, two, three. And as they go towards the centre, they get smaller. We don't have thick eyelashes there. So, barely any right over there. Let's put a couple of small ones there. These need to be a little bit longer. Right, I think I'll try and put an eyebrow in. So if you're doing eyebrows, just put a basic shape in first. So, and use the side of your pencil. Don't do steep because it's too sharp. You want some basic tone in first. And then it comes round. And further back, it should get thinner. Thicker. Let's go a bit thicker. Yeah. That's basically a shadow line. It's not actually the eyebrow. It's just, sh just a shadow line of the eyebrow. Put the shadow in first, then blend again with your brush. Take your, uh, you can't go one of these brushes, just pinch your sister's or your mother's if you've, uh, if they've got one of these. And it's like a makeup brush. But any brush will do, really. You could just use a painting brush if you've got one. Just put a little bit up here as well. Yeah. 
Again, this is what I'm doing now. It looks like nothing's happening. I say this all the time. You think, well, I'm doing that and nothing's actually happening, but it is. Really small amounts of values is just getting transferred. So I just keep flicking it. And it will make a difference. No, you think it doesn't. Now I'm going to go with some Pointing my pencil down, making it a little bit steeper now, just to pick up some of this graphite. I'm actually going to use, probably going to use the uh, biro again. Get this first. We might not use the biro. This is looking quite good. I'm just using little stabbing motions to create some eyelashes. Direction. This direction, slightly above. A bit further down. So we can just see. And now I've been, because I've been using my pencil like this creates a really sharp edge. Look how sharp that is. Can't really see it, but it is really sharp. So now we can use that sharp area for some. Individual. Now I'm going to go in with my biro again. Decided I will use it just for some extra depth on the eyebrow. We're on 33 minutes, crikey, that's a long one, 33 minutes, love this thing, our internet's terrible, It'll be here all night, still be here tomorrow morning trying to upload this, I wake up tomorrow morning, look at my phone, I'll be waiting, uploading, here as well. I with some really dark biro. Seems like a good idea. Put biro on it's really dark and then two minutes later the, the paper's just soaked it all up and it looks plumbing and dry again. If it stayed really dark it'd be brilliant. Best thing about charcoal, it don't get soaked into your paper. Oh, that's looking too bad, is it? People watching, hello six people. I don't know who you are, but thanks for joining us on this Friday night. Welcome to your Friday night therapy session. With me, Stew Art. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna go darker here, then I can blend this a little bit. How dark dare you go, Stew? 
it go even darker? What do you reckon? I don't know, shall we? Yes, we shall. So I'm just adding darker values now, just to make it... ...in the middle. Goes in as well, but... That's quite dark. Lighten it up a little bit. I think I've gone a bit too dark there. I'll get my putty eraser out and take a little bit of that out if I can. Back out. My orbital eraser as well, so I could use this. The light, make sure it's nice and clean. Create a little bit of a wet area there, and in that corner, and. And get carried away with this. There is just here. Some little dots. I'll darken this up, put this crease a bit darker. or wrinkles so you shade dark above it and light below it I'm going to get my um, blending stub for this so it's not as harsh And then we'll have a bit of a highlight. Highlights just there and underneath. It's really easy to get carried away with this thing. Hi Tracy. A few highlights on the hair. Never. Of it being rounded, if your lights in the light sources here, then gives that impression of everything being round. So if you darken up the this area, it 
quite dark. Illusion of everything being rounded, which obviously it is, it's not flat. We don't have flat faces, do we? to go dark on the outside and blend it out things Shade it with a round direction on your what are you doing? To give the illusion that it is round. Finish with your brush to soften it up. Further down and make it just disappear. Just pull away. And the picture a little bit and make it drift off into the paper. I think, folks, the only thing we could do to make it a little bit more interesting probably is to do a few freckles. I do like to put a few freckles in, so... I'm not going to do too many. I don't want to bore you by drawing freckles. Can be quite boring. I'll just do a few, just in this area. But you could literally, you could full, fill the hole. But if you do freckles, just don't worry too much about making them same shape. Have you ever seen anybody with freckles and they're all perfectly round? They're really not. They're all different shapes. Some are not even round at all. They're like this. And then they've got things coming off them. Different shapes. Big, small. All different shapes and different values as well. So you, Some of them are light like that. Some are quite dark. and loose when you're doing these if you are going to add some freckles. I'm not going to do any more. I'm sure you're all dropping to sleep. All three of you, three dropping to sleep. <laughs> right, that is about it, I think. Yep. Can't do what else to that. Thanks for joining me on Friday night. Appreciate it. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.